the truth the girls. Hi everyone. Truth the girls. Yeah. Put it there. It's Truth or Girl Sonia here. I got the hairbrush. Yeah. Everybody's always saying Gunner's hair is so messy. You know why? Because he won't let me brush it. I tried just Keep now. Look, wait, look what happens. Let me try. Come on. <laughs> Anyway, hi. We're not talk, we're not here to talk about the hair. Say hi. And we're give, here to give you an update about the school situation. In case you're wondering why am I talking about this in front of him? Well, because it's it's his life, and he already knows what's happening. So why should I talk about it behind his back? Um, I have a feeling this video is going to be a little scattered because it usually is when Gunner's in the video with me. I'm going to try to focus in spite of the interruptions. So. Um, <laughs> So what happened was I told you he got kicked out from his previous school and the school board had placed him in a special classroom that was supposed to be the ASD classroom at another school and uh, we started having problems there because a lot of times when somebody talks to you you don't answer he doesn't answer he doesn't respond he doesn't do what he's told like if somebody's telling him like you know come here or don't go there or don't touch that. it's just like they said nothing yeah, like, it and takes a few they, tries to like get his attention and... They say it once, and then they get pissed off. Yeah, they would grab him a lot. Anyway, whatever it was. I, I know Gunner, obviously, you know, my, my son here, and we've been and together for how ten, could she not tell 10 me? years together. And I know that it's like every time I call your name or I say anything to you, like, do you want jam on your toast? Like, I have to say it like several times, and I know that that's frustrating for people. And I know that you have a hard time like getting some things done and you need you need more like coaching and whatever and sometimes uh, He gets really stressed out, you know, and he's not able to get it together. Okay. Now. I know that it's frustrating because I Deal with this all the time, right? And I imagine that the school uh, that they're very frustrated and well, what happened was they just kept grabbing him. Like if he didn't answer, he didn't do what he was told, or he was doing something he shouldn't be doing. Or if I just tripped in front of Matthew and he screamed. Whatever it was. They go and grab me. There was a lot of throw grabbing. Throw me into the other room and then hold me down, which is really stupid. Which, because I just fell down. Ah, so here's what happened. Uh, Gunner doesn't follow directions or he gets in people's space or whatever he's doing and they tell him to stop and he just continues and then they start grabbing him and then the problem is he hit the teacher he, he did it twice and so that's the sec <laughs> yeah the second time but I, I I've never known Gunner to attack anybody ever like you've never done that you never do that I do it only in self-defense well he does it when people grab him and school they just keep, don't say that don't go you can't say that onion news trademark Gunny, you can't say that anyway uh he, he, he does it when they grab him onion but they just keep grabbing him because i i don't think they have the the skills to deal with him they need other strategies they need to be very highly trained with other strategies to avoid handling him, which is what it says at the top of his IEP, avoid handling the student. And yet they're not able to do that, so uh, something starts and then by grabbing him it escalates and um, it ends up with him hitting them and so that's how he got kicked out. What, what it comes down to basically is that the school system is not able to deal with Gunner and to serve him the way he needs because he really needs behavioral intervention expertise at the level of like autism specialists or an institutional kind of setting like when you were in the day program the day program went very well but that that's totally different than being in a regular classroom the level of training those people have and the way it's set up and the expertise they have it's it's a lot different it's a whole other level and I think Gunner should have probably been in a special school from the beginning um, but because he's very verbal and he's intelligent, like his diagnosis was delayed for a number of years. And basically he's been mainstreamed from the beginning and has never worked. Oh, actually, in the beginning he was in a French school and we were advised to take him wait, out. Wait, he wasn't picking up the language, but the, behaviorally they were doing okay with you. You were doing okay wait, there to, towards no, the end. No, he locked me in a room because I wasn't able to say I have to go to the bathroom in French. So then she locked me in the room for the rest of the day. She came back, my, my shit, my pants, and um, I was sitting there in the corner, and I was like five or something. 
I had no idea what to do. I was like locked in this room. A lot of bad experiences. I was under my desk crying with my pants off. That was terrible. <laughs> and I didn't have diapers because I don't need them. It's just that she locked me in a room. Yeah. So you know, sometimes people look at Gunner and they look, they're like, "Oh, Gunny, you, you know, you look you look pretty normal. Like, how can he be autistic? How can he have so much difficulty with this behavior?" But I think the fact that he wasn't diagnosed and that he didn't get the right help, he had a lot of really, really bad experiences, specifically with the school, and it, you know, it's it's kind of it's added to the problem. It's added to it a lot. Um, so. Anyway, the reason I was making this video is to say, like, he's being homeschooled at this point. Uh, and, and not just because I choose to homeschool him, but the school, the school board has actually, like, banished him. They, they, they won't take him in any school. So I was like, I don't even have the choice. The school board was telling me, uh, well, the school told me that the school, school board has decided that, like, he cannot be in school. So, uh, you know, like it or not, school, you know, school, school, being school. Be homeschooled now. No, you, still, you sound like you're from Boston. School. But the problem is that I work and I have yeah. a lot of stuff to do. And, uh, you know, Gunner, I guess things with you don't move like at the pace that they move with me or with most people. So uh, it's very hard for me. I mean, I don't know how I'm supposed to do all these things. And I don't want to get into it right now in this video, but let's just say things move at an extremely slow pace. Oh, there There's she goes again. A lot. There's a lot of issues, like, all day. And uh, it's hard for me to to be like this. I mean, I don't know how we're going to do this. Uh, like, actually, I don't mind having you home with me. The problem is I don't know how I can do that and work at the same time. People say, <laughs> oh, homeschooling, you can do all these activities, you can do this, you can do this. Uh, yeah, if you're, if you're not working, and, or they're like, oh, put him on the computer and he'll, he'll study this or that by himself, but he won't. As soon as I'm out of sight, he'll just go back on the collaring or, <laughs> or he'll do, he'll do something. I mean, he won't, he won't do it unless I'm making him do it. He doesn't, he doesn't do stuff on his own initiative, so. Colors. He's just basically Crazy. homebound. That's what it is. And the, the school board said they're going to send in a tutor nine hours a week. And Great. I think is school nine hours? Nine hours in total for the week. Oh, cool! So this is like a win-win situation. Yeah, but it's not win-win for me because like, how am I supposed to get all my stuff done? <laughs> is that a without win? Without neglecting you. I didn't I don't say neglect it was a win-win-win anyway, situation. Anyway, luckily he's older now. It's I, not I like didn't he's say five that. Six, I didn't so. say it was a win-win-win. I don't know where to put him. Like, I don't know what to do with him. We're gonna try to actually. Get it like now it's gonna be Christmas holidays anyway, but then we're gonna try to get him into like this day program at a at, like a therapeutic day program. Plus the tutor will be here Let nine us, hours a week. Uh, and now for the, I'm going for the to fall we're gonna try to get him to like a school that sure specializes that in ASD. And and by the way, I just want to say one more thing is like when people hear autism or whatever, they, they tend to think of stereotypes. But you know, autism, like you know when they say if you met one per person with autism, you've met one person with autism. Because it's it's just like it's like saying if you met one dyslexic person, you've met one dyslexic person. Because it, it, your autism isn't a personality; it's a developmental disability. So you can have that, and you can have any number of different kind of uh, personality or like sort of traits or whatever. There's a lot of different sub uh, sort of profiles within ASD. And uh, Gunner is the the type which I would call the wild man. <laughs> <sighs> Which you know. Try to get me in modeling. Work, it doesn't work hey, well at school. Hey, by the way, we were know. talking about this today. Try to get me in modeling, and uh, put the clothes on me. La, 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 la. And then Ozzy Osbourne comes. And says, you could be my new addition. And then I become the little Ozzy Osbourne. Yes. Like, they just put they put a put they they just put like jean jackets over me all day, and I go. La, 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 la. <laughs> They don't know what you're talking about. It's because we were talking about, like, he was talking about, like, what kind of job can he do? And I was like, oh, well, you know, uh, you could do this or you could do that. And he was like, can I be a model? And then he was like, actually, no, because then I wouldn't tolerate the clothes they put me in. Anyway, like, it's conversation, and discussion got I've derailed become again. A, a rock star and they <laughs> just put jean jackets over me. But basically this, like, what's happening right now, this is what happens all day, like, all the time. It gets derailed back to his sort of 
imaginative, like fantasy humor stuff. And it doesn't matter what you're trying to do. Like it just, it, he just keeps going back to that all the time. But it's to the point where like they can't, it really interferes with like everything it, trying to do with him in the day. Uh huh. Do you want a little bit of my zippel? Austin Powers trademark. Yeah. So, like, I know when you guys see that and it's for like a couple of minutes, you, you just think it's, haha, that's funny. But actually, this goes on all day and like he can't control it. He can't just shut it off. It's like that's where his, right? That's where your mind goes automatically. My whole life is a historic personality disorder. What? A histrionic <laughs> personality disorder? I don't think it's that. Oh, you know why I said that? Because we watched this thing about ancients behaving badly and they were classifying all the ancient rulers of Rome and stuff. My life is a drama and they were, movie. Whether they were like intentional, uh, intentionally ruthless or they had a personality disorder or they were like psychopaths. Um, your life is a movie. Yeah. That's what I want it to be. This is it. This is it. This is what you're seeing. This this is like all day, all day, all day, all day. It never stops. It never just like goes to like what we do, what you do, what your kids do, what other people. It's always like this to the point where like he can't even be in school. It's been like that for years now. It never stops. I've created the everlasting drama movie, which everyone just gets. It's not drama. It's Actually, this is what's cool. called being in your own world, like with autistic kids or people like being in your own world it can take different forms so for him it's like he's thinking a lot about movies and cartoons repeating a lot of dialogue and life like, is talking about squirrel stuff who a lot. pissed in my mouth that was great i should have gotten a ruby shot oh, no. i'm hoping well you know no offense to you gunner i mean i know that you don't do it on purpose i i want to just help you and i, I think you what should you, you should find a place where you can be happy and like you can study well you know, when I make videos, a lot of times, like, we'll film, and then I'll edit out a lot of stuff, because I know people are going to be like, why are you putting that on the internet with your kid acting this way or whatever? But the fact is, actually, this is how he is. That's just him, that, like, all the time. So, um, a lot of times I, like, edit, edit it out, and there's nothing there that I can put up, because I'm trying to show, like, what people consider acceptable. Um, but, but really, like, that's how Gunner is. That's how he is, like, all the time. And it's not considered acceptable. Anyway. anyway, that's it. I just want to tell you the school board has said, like, he's banished and he's homeschooled. Tutor coming in and maybe behavioral therapy in the day. You are and banished different school from this fall. world. I, you are banished from this world. And it's like, you are banished from hell. And I'm like, thank God. <laughs> I know, but I don't want, I don't they feel like I can give him enough attention at home because I, I'm busy. I have to work and like, look at this. I can't exactly just look get him on board with what is. I'm doing. It, this is amazing. It's not. It's not like you think. It's not like, oh, great, we're going to go to the homeschool center. Or people oh like, oh, my go gosh. down there. They have all these activities, do all this stuff. What are the activities? I don't know what planet you're from, but like in, in my world. Farting in your hand and smelling In my it? world, I have to clean the house. I have to get the food. I have to cook the food. I have to do all the administrative stuff, all the like budget stuff. I have to work. Um, I have like caregiving responsibilities. I mean, I have so much. And I do YouTube to support my family. Which, thank you for your support, by the way, on Patreon. Because you viewer support at this point. I do so many things. Like, how am I supposed to then, like, just in the middle of the day, like, just also take him to... I, there's not enough hours in the day. It's not possible. It's like, just humanly not possible. Unless I, um, like, went on welfare and didn't have to work. And, yeah, basically, if I went on welfare, then I'd have the time. But I don't want to be on welfare. <laughs> so, uh... It's funny because people say, oh, look at you, you're on welfare and you have kids and you can't, you know, you shouldn't have kids if you can't support them. But, that, you know, if you don't want to be on welfare, then you have to work, which means you can't homeschool. So, but it's, and at the same time, it's like people expect the mom to be like superhuman. Like I have to do everything. It, I don't, I don't, it's just not realistic. But for now, it's, it's, we have no choice. So he's going to be hanging out at home. He's going to be on the iPad a lot. And he's going to be having a little tutoring. And uh, I don't know. We'll see where this goes. It's kind of good. Wait, Dad. What? I think this is his one. What? what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you're funny. But, like, it's like he's so funny, but he just, like, never stops. You should be in, like, comedy school. The John Belushi school of 
co comedic arts. And you could be in there and like screw around all day and you'd never get kicked out. Could I? Is there yeah, such a place? I wish there was. I'd send you there. I get there. You'd be like, bah! Like all day long. <laughs> you just screw around like a school where you like jump on tables and like fart in people's faces and like make funny noises. <laughs> oh, <no. Careful>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what, that's what you do all day. Oh! Ta da! <laughs> anyway, we'll keep you posted. And uh, thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time. Say goodbye. Peace.